Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our fourth episode of Conversations with Graham Stevenson. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in Ukai. You can probably hear the roosters out in the backyard crowing happily on our property. We still have had no rain, but it's warm and that's good. Um, today we're talking about New Zealand. Graham and Sophia are heading off to New Zealand in two weeks' time. And a little bit of an aside to that is that I'm actually heading there tomorrow. And I'm very excited because I've never been to New Zealand. And I'm heading there first as a working holiday, but also to warm it up for Graham and Sophia. As you know, they were recently in Arizona where it was stinking hot. So I'm really concerned that they may suffer in the cold of South New Zealand, which is one of the closest places to the South Pole. Um, so in, instead of winter woolies, I decided I'd just sacrifice myself and go there and warm it up for you, Graham. Good morning, Graham. Good morning, Natasha. What a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I know, things I do for you. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> So we've got some fabulous artists that we are going to um, film in New Zealand this time. We're starting in Christchurch and I think that I'm going to be able to join you on set for the first filming ever. So I'm also excited about that. So the first person we're filming will be the amazing Min Kim. And she's in a gallery in Christchurch, isn't she? She actually owns the gallery. It's the Bryce Gallery in Christchurch. It's on uh, Rickerton Road, um, right in the middle of town. And uh, Min's a Korean lady who is exceptionally talented. She does a number of things, uh, portraiture, landscape, um, but her work is really quite amazing. I'm just looking at and referring to a lot of the images as we go along. But um, you look at her work, it's uh, the colours are vibrant. There's a lot of detail in there, yet she she's loose in certain areas with the work. But... Uh, very talented woman. She does, uh, I think she's got two galleries in New Zealand now. So not only is she a successful businesswoman, but she's also a successful artist as well. Fabulous. I can't wait to meet Min. I've seen lots of her work and it looks so beautiful. After yeah, that, yeah, you're heading cool. outside of Christchurch to meet with an artist called Sue Curry. So I yep. think you live uh, west, east of Christchurch. Yeah. It's about an hour east on the peninsula from Christchurch. Uh, once again, pretty area. Um, really talented landscape artist. Um, once again, some very vibrant colours. She paints um, New Zealand the way that she she sees it. But uh, uses watercolours, acrylics and oils. But you can just sort of see she understands the atmosphere in, in her work uh, and, the, um, and the composition. She's very good at putting composition together. But, uh, but beautiful work too. I mean, you know, the colours are pretty extraordinary what she does. I've heard that in New Zealand you have to use a completely different colour palette to Australia. Is that what you think as well? Um, it depends. So it's funny enough when you go to Europe, if you're in Europe, um, I think because of the dust and the atmosphere and the varying light, Australia has a very harsh light. So everything's very contrasting when you, when you come here. Plus... We've got the, the, red, the red dirt um, in a lot of the outback paintings that you see. But um, New Zealand is probably because it's crisp and cold at certain times of the year. You're going to get the air being very, very clear. You've always got to think of what's in the atmosphere for a start. And if it's hot, particularly in Australia, I mean, part of the reason that we get the blue mountains apart from the blue spectrum is that a lot of the um, eucalyptus oil actually seeps out, it's actually absorbed into the atmosphere. So the varying oils and, and dust that's around a certain area gives you a certain uh, value factor in your colours uh, wherever you are on the planet. New Zealand's just really clean and it's cold and there's not a lot of pollution down there, so you get very, very crisp, uh, very crisp outlines and crisp colours as well. Oh, how interesting. I'm going to try some watercolour while I'm over there, so I'll have to keep all that in mind. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, sort of just be consistent with your palette, that's all. Okay. 
Yeah. Cindy Hutton is your next uh, artist and she's in the north of uh, New Zealand in a place called Nelson. Yeah, we've been up there before uh, to a place called Reefton um, where we filmed a lady uh, a couple of years ago. And, uh, but it's a really, really pretty area. I mean, there's a lot of islands up in the Nelson's Bay area. I mean, little islands all over the place. Um, but when you look at Cindy's work, I mean, she's a, a, a realist, a, like a, almost a super realist. And her work is just quite amazing. And she paints big scenes. She paints like a bicycle, just leaning up against a wall at a shop that might have a basket on it with some bread in it or something. But I mean, it's, it's incredibly realistic work. Um, and her patience is pretty overwhelming with what she does. I mean, you know, I'm just looking at it on the screen now and uh, she really, really does know how to use a, a paintbrush and, and her colours and, and she's one of those artists that's, that from what I can see has overwhelming patience in what she does. I mean, she gets everything right. It's, uh, you look at it and you, you think it was a photo. It looks really fantastic. Yeah. Then I think you're heading down the West Coast down to... Debbie Lambert, and she's a little bit inland, isn't she? She's on a station. Yeah, um, De Deb's uh, near Ashburton, funnily enough. So, and she's actually painting on a, on a property down there. Uh, and supposedly, we're getting picked up by a helicopter. Cool. Um, to get to get to the areas. Uh, once again, beautiful paintings of the mountains, landscapes. I mean, when you when you get to see New Zealand. I mean, I lived in Alaska a number of years ago for a while and being down to New Zealand, New Zealand's like a mini version of Alaska. Um, I mean, the scenery's spectacular. The nice part about being in New Zealand and wandering around is that the bears won't eat you. There's no <laughs> bears there. <laughs> you, don't to, you don't have to worry about mountain lions or anything at all. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty spectacular places. And um, yeah, the mountains are extraordinary. I mean, when you see work by John Crump, who we filmed a couple of years ago, uh, and you see the glaciers and you see the mountains and the lakes, and it really is spectacular. It's sort of like what the world was like 100,000 years ago before we came along and screwed it up. So mm -hmm. it's the best way to describe it. Beautiful. I'm so looking forward to it. So after yeah, you've eaten, you're heading back to the east coast to a beautiful town called Wanaka. I'll probably say that wrong. I'll probably learn how to say it next week when I'm actually there and being corrected by all the New Zealanders. So sorry in advance if I'm saying it wrong. You're going to be filming Kim Beaton and isn't she doing a portrait or something of you? Yeah, now Kim actually asked if um, we could uh, send some photos of yours truly and she, she does portraits and landscapes, but she does. She loves doing portraits. And um, these days, as rough as my head is, um, people seem to want to, <laughs> to either paint it or, or stick it in glass or do something with it. So it's like, oh, goodness, <laughs> I wish they wouldn't. But, um, but she um, said she'd like to paint my portrait. So I've sent her a number of images and then obviously she'll get to see the whole horrific sight when, when I actually arrive on my, door, at my desk, doorstep. <laughs> so. so after Kim, you're going to be heading to the Awaka Valley. Uh, to film Lindley Rose Van Alphen, I believe. What kind of work does she yeah. do? Well, she does uh, a lot of watercolours, but a lot of seascapes, uh, landscapes as well. Well, really, really lovely, loose style. She does um, animal portraiture also, but I think the Awaka Valley, from what I can gather, and you can only, you'll understand when you get down to these places how pretty it actually is. But I prefer the South Island to the North Island. Sorry, everybody there. But... Um, the, the outer, outer regions of the North Island are absolutely beautiful, but in the middle, it's sort of like a bit like a giant dairy farm. But the, but the south is, is really picturesque and pristine, and there's, there's a lot of dirt roads that you can get off and sort of wander around and have a look at the countryside. So Lindley's work is very much orientated towards that type of thing as a sort of capturing the, the regional atmosphere uh, and the natural beauty of the area in conjunction with man and animals combined at the same time. But very... Very subtle watercolours, um, but, but beauti beautifully put together as well. Fabulous. I can't wait to see her beautiful watercolours. 
Um, yep. Well, I think that we'll wrap it up there because you've got a lot of painting to do for your exhibition coming up. Thank you to those of you who have become a member since our last video. We've got quite maybe a dozen new members and we're trying to build our global community or tribe and we're loving you up a lot more recently. So get on to www.colorinyourlife.com.au and then join up to be a free member or a premium member. We love our premium members even more, just in case you didn't know that. Um, also, you can subscribe to our YouTube and then you will never miss anything that comes from Colour In Your Life. And we're also on all the social media platforms. So come be our friend on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Pinterest. And finally, our shop online is burgeoning with gorgeous artworks. And we have a sale on. We've got, we're selling off a lot of our DVD collection. So get online and have a look at our 20% off sale at www.colorinyourlife.com.au. And until next time, signing off and remember to put some colour in your life. Thanks a lot, Graham. Thanks, thanks Matt. That's great.